Hello, party people. Welcome back to Kale's Travails. Shorter video tonight because I am outdoors. It's 10 minutes to 10 and I'm still trying to figure stuff out. Um, and it's dark and life is weird. Okay, so quick. First of all, I was wrong about almost everything I said at the end of yesterday's video. One, the shower was not refreshing. The height of the nozzle was at my chest and the, the curtain was like a, a quarter circle that just like barely went around your body. And so you got water all over the floor and it was impossible. Okay, so that's problem one. Problem two, um, my clothes did not dry. Remember, I'm gonna put them out nice and early. They're gonna dry. Well, like a dum-dum, I left them overnight and then the dew got them and they were wet this morning. Tragic. Not only that, but when I picked them up, there was a bug. I don't like bugs. Um, number three, remember I said I was gonna go back to the albergue because it would take forever to upload. So I wanted to sit there and take an outdoor nap while the internet did its thing. One, there was nowhere to nap and two, the internet wasn't working at all. So I could not upload. So I'm trying to upload that now while I record this one, which means I will not upload this one, hopefully tomorrow, pray for me. Um, and then number four, remember I said I am not going to Zamora. I'm not going to Zamora because I can't walk that far. <laughs> well, the universe has things in store. So we walked to Via Nueva de Campian, which was where we were trying to go to. Um, and this walk had a little bit more topography. It had more stuff going on. We started with trees, there was some shade, and then we had some plains parts that were a little more boring. Then we had a downhill. Oh my goodness, a downhill. How lovely. After a lot of up. Um, we saw some old vineyards and cornfields. I saw a fox. I saw some hawks. Um, yeah, so anyway, different. It was a change of pace. It was only a little over eight miles, which was beautiful. So we got into Villa Nueva de Campeón. Campeón? Lo siento. Um, and as we're wandering around town trying to find the albergue, this one's closed. That one's closed. All of them are closed. Excuse me. I have a hair in my mouth. I think I finally got it. Um, everything's closed. So we're like, okay, maybe we can stay at the private hotel. Oh, there are also no restaurants. There's nowhere to eat. There's nowhere to do anything. So I'm with the two Frenchmen and the three of us decide, screw Via Nueva. We're going to carry on, except there's no way we could walk that next distance, which was another like 13 miles, 12 to 13, because we didn't start early enough. We weren't planning on it. I didn't have enough water. I don't know what their deal was, but none of us wanted to do it. So we took a taxi. So we split a taxi. It only ended up being like 11 bucks, each of us, to Zamora. So I said I wasn't coming and yet here I am. So I'm in an albergue in Zamora and there are so many people here. It's part of why this video is so late is I didn't want to like do this with people sitting next to me and there are just people, which was a new experience. Um, people from Portugal, from Holland, um, other parts of Spain, uh, a mix of people who are biking or walking, some who are walking to Monte Marta, which is where I'm going tomorrow. Some people who are walking to the next place, Granja de Muruela, which is like, it's 40 kilometers. So I don't remember how many miles that is because my brain's not working, but too far, too far. Um, but anyway, it's interesting, more people. And so when we got here, we went and grabbed lunch, which was fun in this outdoor market. There was this crazy market today. So I asked someone who's f not from here, but they've lived here a while, Andres from yesterday. Um, oh, is there, is this every day? And he's like, no, I like, is it every weekend? He's like, not that either. Um, you know, sometimes they just have these things and it's different all the time. And you never know what you're gonna get and you might get nothing. So we got really lucky that there was this cute market with old, um, old style music. I don't know what else to call it. I'll come up with a better description later. Um, people dressed in like Roman garb, which was hysterical and uh, tasty, tasty food. Um, so I had fabulous stuff. And then, after that, came back, showered, washed my clothes, dried yesterday's stuff, dried today's stuff, thank goodness for the sun. Um, and then I went wandering around. I saw a couple churches. There are so many churches here and there's a cathedral and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love you, Shia. Um, absolutely beautiful. And then I went and grabbed dinner, which was cheap and delicious. Hello. Um, and then, ooh, ha, <laughs> so bright, gracias, Miguel. Um, and now we're here and we're going to turn this way because that is so bright. Miguel runs the sailboard again and now everything's different. But luckily, ooh, I was at the end of my story. So we're going to go ahead and stop there. Tomorrow I'm on the mart. I'm trying to figure out how to send some of my stuff to Madrid or Santiago because my backpack's too heavy. My Achilles is killing me. I feel like I'm going to die. Um, but today's eight miles went better than yesterday's 12. Tomorrow's 12. Pray for me. And, uh, that's it. Bye.